This is the funicular railway with the steel ball system of operation removed and replaced with a simple electric drive. Uh, they did this to the hydraulic funicular in Hastings in uh, 1970 something. It's a lot simpler, I must say. It's also automatic and the cars go up and down the ramp at the proper speed. Uh, the model's controlled by this uh, rotary contactor. There are three micro switches. The bottom one runs the main motor for the cars. The middle one runs the bell. And the top one operates a reversing relay so that for each operation of the main motor it runs in the opposite direction so that the cars can go up and then down. Uh, this is a small uh, DC to DC voltage controller so that I can accurately set the speed of the wheel of the contactor so that it runs at the right speed just to send the cars up and down with no significant overrun. If there is any, the uh, cable just slips on the main pulley. It's quite simple and a lot more reliable. Now we can see it working. Here's the lift running. Morning bell operating, the cars going up and down at a good speed. There's a pause for the passengers to get on and off, which of course should be longer. It's a warning bell again. Cars going up and down in the other direction. And this action is automatic and continuous. No manual interference needed. This contact uh, controls the operation of the model. There's a stack of three micro switches. The bottom one is for the main motor that runs the cars up and down. The middle one is for the bell. And the top one is for the reversing relay. So here none of the switches are activated and we're just in pause. The middle micro switch is now on and the bell is ringing and now the bottom curve strip and the top curve strip are in contact with the micro switch so the car runs in the opposite direction. So that's one in 20 motor for the bell, one to run the contactor, which you can't see of course, it's underneath, and there's a regular 800 RPM motor here that's running the lift itself. So that's it.
Thanks for watching.